Hello and welcome back to the Mits for the Soul podcast. My name is Claudia. Thank you for stopping by. Um, if you're a new viewer or a returning viewer, thank you so much. And um, yeah, this is just a, a short episode and I um, wanted to uh, show you a very, very beautiful yarn store. Um, a lot of people probably heard about it, especially when you're in Germany. And um, if you're outside Germany and you don't, and you like seeing other countries and other cities, yarn shops, so I hope you like this. And yeah, so we spent a couple of days in Munich, my son and I, and we also took the time to go to the yarn shop called uh, De Mer Servi. Uh, it is really 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 a lovely place to be with a little cafe and they have classes and so much uh, beautiful yarns and notions and everything <laughs> so um just come with us and check it out have fun Good morning, you guys! This is Oscar. We are in Munich and we are on our way to the prettiest yarn shop ever. you guys welcome back i'm in the Masserie in munich and i just asked for permission to film here so you get a ton of footage i guess uh, from my visit here so i parked my son i parked my son back in the cafe space and i'm just browse, browsing through all the gorgeous yarn they have here and let's see what i take with me as a present and of course i will show you what pretty yarns they have here so
I hope you did like this and um, we spent a lovely time there and had a chat with the uh, ladies working there and also with the owner and I um, yeah bought a lot of yarn <laughs> because when in Rome or in Munich for in that case so um, yeah the bag is a little rumpled because we went to Munich by train, which was actually nice. And yeah, whatever one can say about the Deutsche Bahn, <laughs> never mind the weather, it worked this time. Anyway, it was on time as well. Okay, let's not talk about this. Um, yeah, so there is also another video video about um, our stay in Munich and um, yeah, if you're interested in a couple of places we went there and the Christmas market, check it out. Thanks. And now for those who want to see what I actually got at the nursery, um, yeah, let's start with notions. So um, it's not that I don't own um, cable needles, but those I have are very big and um, yeah, they kind of make cabling clumsy when I need a cable needle. So when I saw this pair uh, at the nursery, I got it. Um, it's from Coco Knits and it's just uh, two small cabling needles in a size uh, 2.5 millimeter. Yeah, nothing very fancy, but exactly the size I needed. And then I got this little box and uh, these are um, silicon um, stitch holders. So <clears throat> you probably know these from other sellers. I got it in this amazing yellow. I really liked it. I wanted it to, to really pop. So, and there are one in one and a half meter and two in um, uh, 0 0.75 meter. And um, yeah, so you can just slip it on your needle, slip the stitches on it and then just um, I always wanted to get my hands on these, but no local yarn store carried it. Um, and just for this to pay so much for shipping and when I saw the nursery had um, those branded with their logo, I thought, yeah, I, I get one of those boxes with me. Right, so that was the notions and then I got yarn. Um, so one skein I got because my friend Ulrike from my stitching bitch um, is knitting up this color in a sweater of hers but the yarn stores in my in my hometown or near me didn't carry that color and I've had this on my wish list for a while. So this is the yellow colorway uh, from the Red Red Premium Merino Yak sock yarn. And yes, <laughs> the other day I got a yellowish alpaca sock yarn. I know, <laughs> but this is my color. I love this color. More sturdy yellow. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Oh, and if you wonder what I'm wearing, no, I did not knit this. It is store bought, but it is very nice <laughs> and warm. But sadly, no real wool. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, so I had to get this. Yeah. So, a lot of yellowish socks in my future. And then I got uh, another sock yarn, this time um, a hand dyed hank by Live in the Long Grass. It's a 75-25 fine sock yarn and it's the color Beachcomber. And they had so many beautiful, amazing colorways by Live in the Long Grass. It was so hard to decide. 
but I decided on this in the end. It, it fits my current aesthetic of beiges and pinks and everything. So, and there is, as you see, mustardy yellowish specks in it. Yeah, so this is so pretty. And then, because I love, I love, love, love uh, Norwegian wool. I, and, and you saw that in the footage, <laughs> there was a lot of it. I got a couple of skeins, Roma Finol. And um, my son helped me decide on, sorry, um, helped me decide on a couple of colors. There are, oh my gosh, seven skeins. Seriously, okay. <clears throat> anyway, so let me try to grab this so I can show you the pal palette I got. not working okay come on my hands are not big enough <laughs> okay we try it this way so this is the palette I got it's all Rama Finol so you have a very light gray it's the color 0403 and then there is a very, very nice brown. It's 0411. This is so pretty. I actually want a sweater just in this color. So, and then there is this darkish grayish brown. It's um, 4081. Then we have this beauty. It's the color 4065. <laughs> 4076. And do you see our color scheme? <laughs> uh, the color 0417. And to have a color, sorry. Uh, a color pop. My son decided on this out of seven bluish greenish colorways. He decided on this. It's the color 4887. And I will quite probably, oh, the pattern is wrinkled now, quite probably make the smiller cowl out of it. This is so pretty. I tried to insert another picture here. Maybe that shows it better. Yeah, so but because I bought the yarn, I got the pattern. And I can't wait. <laughs> so next year there will be winter again, right? So um let's see how far or how fast i get around to knit this amazing yarn up and if you saw the other podcast episode with all my christmas acquisitions um you know i have a lot of sock yarn <laughs> and there are going to be so many socks next year i guess yeah anyway <laughs> There were my mercerie acquisitions. It was a really, 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 a really, really beautiful store. And um, all the people there were so lovely. And I hope if I'm going back to Munich, we plan on doing that um, maybe during the Easter holidays um, to visit a couple other uh, palaces around there and other sites. Then, um, yeah, we're going back there, definitely. Okay, so <laughs> um, 
let's see if I have more footage at the end for you. Uh, if not, thank you for watching and stay safe and have a nice remaining year 2022. Bye bye!